Yeah, Nikita, obviously uh, the, there was a lot of questions about your status going into the game. Just describe what you were feeling, how close were you to not playing, and what what was it like to play in the game? How do you think you came through it? Well, there was no question if I'm going to play or not. Uh, you know, I felt good, and uh, we decided to, you know, what else to to do to game seven. you, you got to sacrifice yourself and play in those moments and, uh, you know, share it with the boys, and, you know, I felt good today. Joe Smith, The Athletic. Yanni, you look at the, the last 20 seconds or so, I think you had Kudrow pinning the four guys deep behind the net, and I think Cologne did the same thing. Is that almost kind of to symbolize what the effort was tonight, or just how would you describe kind of the group effort that, that, that did this, got this done? Yeah, uh, everyone jumped in, but like Goody made a great play at the end there to uh, uh, hold on to the puck and uh, try to buy some times and uh, – um, it just showed how much uh, character and guys were going down to block shot. Guys were um, making the right play, chipping the puck out, uh, uh, making hard plays. Everyone jumped in and uh, it was fun to watch. Ed and Encina, Tampa Bay Times. Yanni, can you just go through the goal with us and just kind of the patience that you, you guys had on, on, that, uh, on that goal? Well, first of all, on the PK, uh, just before uh, we scored, I think we had two or three uh, great block shots and I think uh, that goal doesn't happen if uh, those guys don't go down and block those shots and uh, Mac uh, uh, once he got the puck he was real patient made a great pass uh, I think it was to Killer and uh, Killer um, uh, to Tony and Tony was um, dragged three guys to him and uh, uh, put it in a slot for me and I just uh, shot it as quick as I could and uh, I was fortunate enough to uh, get the goal there. Steve Wino, Associated Press. Nikita, I know it's early, but what do you make of a, a potential series now against the Canadians? What did what? What do you what do you make of, of, of facing Montreal in the final? What do you, what do you think of what the series is going to be like? Oh, it's going to be a tough series. So obviously, you know they are a hell of a team. They they made it to the final for a reason, and you know we we respect them, but at the same time, you know we we want to you know worry about ourselves and play the right way all sixty minutes, and you know see what happens. Chris Johnson, Sportsnet. Yanni, for a guy who grew up in Quebec, you know, what's it going to be like to, to face the Canadians in, in this big of a series? It's going to be fun. I'm excited. Uh, it's going to be great. Um, I can't wait. Eric Erlinson, Lightning Insider. Yeah, Yanni, you had the entire team out there, including, you know, everybody that hasn't been playing to take that picture with the Prince of Wales. What is that kind of culture, the family atmosphere you guys have created here the last couple of years especially? Um, everyone that was on that picture is part of our team and we wanted to make sure that everyone was, uh, um, was there when we took the picture. The, these guys are, are uh, working hard, uh, every, uh, there's, there's staff members, everyone is, uh, works so much for this organization, for this team. Um, and uh, everyone put the, the teams above themselves and uh, that's what uh, this organization is all about. And uh, like you said, it's part of our culture, and uh, uh, it was great to see that. Jay Retcher, 95.3. Cooch Stammer just said he's never seen anything like that before the game with the fans freaking out when they saw you on the board. What was that like, the reception from Emily Arena when you were on the ice there before the game? Hey, it was fun uh, just to, to see how much, uh, you know, fans love our team. And, uh, you know, I just try to enjoy the moment and um, – you know, really happy to play that game and, you know, big shout out, shout out to them and thanks for, for for doing that. We'll do one more in English and then we can do French for Yanni. Kaylee Mazel, Bally Sports. Yanni, you guys haven't lost back-to-back uh, -back games. What does this say about your team, about the, the kind of fight that you guys have that that's the case? Um, yeah, I think... Uh, uh, we have great leaders in this group and uh, um, we uh, we go one game at a time and we reset we have uh, uh, we know what to do we are, we're gonna lose game but um, it's how you you react after a loss and how you um, you play and I, I mean we uh, we stepped it up after a loss most of the time and we uh, we came out with great games Vaz has been phenomenal um, and all uh, everyone is jumping in and I think that's the key um, 20 guys pushing forwards together. Nikita, thanks for the time. You can be excused. We'll do uh, French for Yanni.
We can do two in French for Yanni. We'll start with J.F. Shamat, Journal de Montreal. Salut Yanni, tu, tu m'entends bien? Oui. Écoute, j'aimerais juste que tu reviennes un petit peu. C'est quoi le sentiment de marquer un but vainqueur dans un septième match qui permet à ton équipe d'atteindre la finale de la Coupe Stanley? Si tu peux glisser quelques mots, tu en as parlé en anglais, mais affronter le Canadien de Montréal, veut veux pas, il doit y avoir quand même une, une petite symbolique magique, pour, magique ou spéciale pour toi. Absolument. Euh, je pense euh, premièrement marquer un but, euh, c'était euh, euh, un moment exceptionnel. Euh, honnêtement, j'ai rarement été autant excité de marquer un but euh, dans ma carrière. Euh, puis euh, c'est ça, là, je pense que euh, je suis tellement content. J'étais vraiment nerveux aujourd'hui pour le match. Puis euh, euh, des bons nerfs, puis c'est de l'excitation. Puis euh, j'étais content de, euh, de participer à ce match-là. Puis euh, je pense que c'est ça. Là. Je pense que toute l'équipe était de la même façon. Puis euh, euh, puis, euh, je pense que tout le monde a vraiment travaillé fort à soi pour, pour aller chercher ce match-là. Euh, puis, ta deuxième question, euh, euh, pour moi, ça va être vraiment gros de jouer à Montréal, contre Montréal. Euh, C'est l'équipe que je regardais jouer euh, euh, quand je grandissais. Puis, euh, C'est vraiment excitant de, de participer à une finale de Coupe cette année contre les Canadiens. Puis, euh, je pense que euh, je suis très excité de commencer ça, mais en même temps, euh, c'est une game comme les autres, puis je pense qu'il faut, euh, faut, euh, faut, faut, faut rester calme et euh, euh, de bien manager nos émotions là, dans ces, dans ces situations-là. Last question, Martin Leclerc, RDS. Merci. Salut, Yanni. Écoute, habituellement, le Canadien est dans de votre division. Là, vous le retrouvez en finale à la Coupe Stanley. Comment vous, euh, vous abordez ça dans une, contre une équipe que, habituellement, vous connaissez assez bien? Oui, euh, ça fait extrêmement longtemps qu'on ne les a pas joués. On, euh, mais tu sais, de, de ce qu'on a vu, euh, euh, ils jouent extrêmement bien. Ils jouent euh, très bien dans leur système. Puis euh, ça, va être un, ça va être un gros challenge. Puis on est excités de commencer ça. Là. Thanks, Yannick. Merci. Merci.